Now turn to section three. Section three. You will hear a talk. First, you have some time to look at questions twenty-one to thirty. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to thirty. Good morning. Your name is Claire Sanders, isn't it? That's right. Well, Claire, as we explained in the letter, in this interview, I'd like to talk about some of the things that you mentioned in your application form, such as your experience and academic background. I see. Now, for your undergraduate degree, you studied geography, right? That's correct. At the Scottish National University. SNU is a very prestigious university. Apart from that, were there any other reasons that you chose to study there? Well, you're correct in suggesting that the main reason I went there was due to the superior quality of the university. But there were two other reasons. The first was that it is reasonably far from my home. I wanted to be as independent as possible from my family whilst I was studying, and felt that that was one way of achieving that aim. The other reason was that the university offered an excellent program of summer work in developing countries, and that's something I was very keen on. That would be the Livingstone project. That's right. I'd like to return to that in a minute. Let me just check the optional courses you took in your third year. The two compulsory courses were methodology and geography, and statistical analysis. And I chose infrastructure, development issues, and geology in addition to those. I see. You clearly decided to focus more on the human geography side of things. Yes, I had worked on development projects abroad for two summers as part of the Livingston project. The first project was in India, and the second was in Sierra Leone. Could you tell me the main aims of the project and how you contributed? The Indian project was to ensure that a village had adequate supplies of fresh water and adequate sanitation. On that project, my role was to help lay pipes and put together various pieces of equipment. The project in Sierra Leone involved improving the infrastructure. The aim was to create rudimentary roads between villages. So that they could receive aid, and so that they could get agricultural products, particularly fruit and vegetables, to the capital and larger towns, my job was to help choose the best route for the roads, minimizing any impact on the environment while maximizing efficiency. How did you find the experiences? The Indian project was helpful in that it was my first experience abroad. And I got to see how small development projects can really make a difference. However, I found the climate well. It was extremely hot and humid, and we were doing a lot of physical work. So it was well. It made you appreciate air conditioning for a start. The second project well, I enjoyed that a lot more. There was some physical work, but we had some machinery to help us clear paths through vegetation. I really enjoyed being able to put what I had learned into practice. For example, we had to choose a route on a map first of all, according to the contours of hills and valleys. Then we had to explore the ground and check that it was really a suitable route. And now you've decided to take a master's degree in development studies as a result. Great. Well, I just have a few more questions regarding. That's the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers.